Empress Star here. So today I am making a video to show you how to use your home stray, your home stray YouTube assist package that they send for fan VIP because I am a home stray fan VIP. I've noticed that a lot of people don't really use it, which is kind of it's kind of really help. It's it's very helpful, especially when you make YouTube video dedicated to home street, and you do also is helpful when you do postings. Um, when you do postings of home street, because home street actually send you a PNG of the item. You have to do is use it to your social media and fix it and rework it. So I'm gonna show you. How to do that so you can use that in your videos or post it post some stuff on your Facebook your Instagram and Twitter account so yeah before we get started don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy this video so let's begin so as you can see right now I am in my email address um, this one I've received which give me my fan VIP assist but the trick or treat events and everything I need to use for my YouTube video. So what I am going to do is click on this. Click on the information. And at the bottom, I am going to download this file. So this file has everything I need for my, for my YouTube video and use for posting. So I'm going to download this. So I am going to show it in the folder. I'm going to click show in folder. Now if only this would show up. Okay, so um, now it shows me where my YouTube assist is. And I am going to move this here to a folder that I have created for Home Street. So now I'm done. I am going to go in and go to this folder that I have created for home street and I'm gonna find the package you click YouTube obsess and then you just go ahead and gather all of these or just specific ones you want you gather them and then you want to go to and then you transfer it or you drop it on your desktop if that makes it easier Usually my other photos that I recently opened comes right here, so I would just drop it right here. But I already dropped it, so I'm not going to drop that. So once that's done, um, you can go and click on which photo you dropped it, and you will see all the Halloween stuff that you have dropped. All these, these are all PNGs that you can use. That you can use for your YouTube assistant stuff. So now that I'm finished, um, I am going to go to Pixlr and I am going to create a pic an image of what I want. So I want to transparent and I want to decide how big I want it to be. Um, probably not too big, um, just something small. And I'll make it transparent. Okay. Seems okay. I'd rather have a little bit of a rectangular shape. For this would do like something like this. Um, this will do all right. So now we'll go open layer. Okay, so we're gonna go open layer and we're gonna go back to home street and we're gonna pick up these PNG. We can also use the wallpaper, did you know? Freeze transformation and we can also use this as well if you want. It's a bit blurry though, oh, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this first. Okay, um, I wanna adjust the contrast a little bit. Open image as layer. Home street stuff like the free transformation again, and then I 
can make it bigger or smaller. And then what you want to do is add some shadow to it to make it pop. Add your shadow, you make it pop. Adjust the brightness and the contrast, which see so much better now. So I adjust the light and then open image as layer. And then a male version of the same outfit, free transformation again. I want it almost the same size. Pretty good. So now I'm done with that. I will match up the bits. Okay. So adjust the contrast. Very simple thing anybody can do. Then you want to drop your shadow. Okay, now, fantastic, it looks great. So, and open layer, you want to put up maybe like a witch there. You guys also do free transformation, make the witch a little bit. Now you can have the witch going this way. Yeah, like that. It looks much better. Put some shadow on the witch. <laughs> Here we go. Put some shadow on the witch. Okay. And we want to adjust her brightness. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, open image as layer. So now that we have that, um, let's see, we can add other stuff to it, like they have cobwebs here. Yes, indeed, they have cobwebs. Okay, where's the cobweb? Oh, okay. So you can add the cobweb there. So I made it in the background. So free transformation. And do it like that. Just brightness and quantum, make it more a little bit realistic. Or not. There we go. You can do all that if you like. I like that. I don't know. Looks alright to me. Okay, open image as a layer, another image as layer. Um, you can easily get this. This is a home street um, PNG. It's just home street logo PNG. Easy as that. Pop a logo on this. Again, we'll do the same thing. Beautiful, and we're going to adjust the color brightness. Now, I don't think we did that with our spider. All right, so now we have the home street, got the home street logo going on, these two new items. So also do this to make it pop some more. Okay, and 
How many nods? Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Okay, the same thing. If I wrong Genji. Okay, so we make Halloween. I like that. Then I change the color. Something like pumpkin-ish. Perfect. Pumpkin-ish. You can make the words a little bit bigger if you want. Then we will go and do some drop shadowing. Perfect. I think that looks fantastic to me. I don't know about you guys. Okay. So, all of that. I think that looks good. You know, some Halloween. We could add some more pumpkins. If we can add pumpkin to make it more festive. We can, like, they have a cat right here already with the pumpkin. So, that's a bit festive here. We can like do like this and hide the cat like that. Then we can add another pumpkin. We don't want to show the cat. Another free transformation. And then do this to turn it back around. And then we can hide the cat. Now that we have all of that settled, they cut out they cut out the pumpkin. You can see that it's also been cut out. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, just a teensy bit. Crop this. You won't. You can actually crop this already. So this has been cropped, beautiful, and okay, and we're done, we'll save this as a JPEG, save, and I'm going to tweak this new picture I just posted right here. And I can even save this later on and post it on my home street. I'm going to post it on my Instagram, my Facebook, anywhere. So now we're going to go to Pixlr and we're going to make another one. And make it transparent. So this is the Halloween that we came up with. I'm going to readjust the side by going to Free Transformation. Ooh, this is a big one. I didn't realize it's going to be this big. Just the color. Makes the color pop more. Or just in color. Let us save. So now that is done, I am going to go back into layer. That's right. We're going to go back into layer again. And then I'm going to just pick out stuff that I want to show off for the home street. Like these um, curtains. What else? The makeup. Yeah, look at these makeup. Look at these makeup. Interesting. So look, I am erasing this. Because I only want a portion of it. So I'm going to erase this portion of it. Look at that. I erased it. Add. And then now let me see this. I'm going to do free transformation and flip it. 
this. I'm a, I'll, I'll redo the head later on. So I'm gonna erase him this time because I erased her. So we're gonna erase, 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 erase. So you don't see him no more. And your little king stuff is there. Now that you're done, look at that. You got two faces. Then click here. Then you have one. Transformation. Oh, look at these tombstones. They do look scary. Now that I am done, I am going to work on the heads. Now that is done. Okay, so I am going to go back to Lair. Open my Home Street logo again that I have. Um. I guess it's a bit easier. I hope this video helped anybody who had questions on how to use the YouTube Assist folder. So if it does, then yay. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my social media. Follow Home Street and keep on playing. See you next time. Bye.